I'm gonna be doing a top end job on the RV, which I didn't wanna be doing at all, and definitely not this soon. What I was hoping to do is to have enough time go by that I could utilize it, it without doing any kind of repair like that on the gasoline engine so that it could put together the money that necessary to do the retrofit to a conventional diesel engine that comes out of the Humvees. They're doing kits and retrofit kits for the GMC motorhomes now. I was hoping enough time would go by that I could see if they, it was a successful conversion and then obviously also have the money together to do it but that's not where I am so best laid plans of mice and men we're gonna do what we need to do oh the day I break these chains I'm bound for the life of the simple things I'm happy with everything uh, as I go along I'm finding you know uh, what's causing some issues uh, which is good so what we're going to do now is go ahead and uh, I'm going to start pulling the valve covers off. I'm going to pull this, uh, the driver's side head off first. Uh, and then I'll get over to the passenger side. And once I get the heads off, um, I'll look at them. I'll talk to y'all a minute, kind of show y'all uh, what I'm looking at. And then we're going to be uh, off to the machine shop and getting everything taken care of. You saw over there and listened to Wayne a little bit about the engine. Uh, we're going to be getting the heads off of here in a few minutes and running over to the uh, machine shop to have them take care of it. I think we're going to also have them take care of uh, the, the rusty nipple on the intake over here as well. That way, you know, there's somebody with all the equipment to do it, an expert on that portion of it. Thing here, evidence running lean. You can see it on the plugs. Uh, this side was really lean. Uh, it's see the uh, all the uh, deposits built up on there. The oil, uh, a lot of that's oil deposit that's built up. Uh, and right here, it was really lean. Here on this last one, uh, and the exhaust side might be hard to see, but the, this was running a little hot. But if you look here. See how this is discolored? It's more of a, um, just the color of it's a lot different. It's a lot brighter. Uh, you can tell here on the intake runners that it is running lean. Uh, there's evidence of it there. And same thing here. This one was running really lean. As you can see how it's all uh, got the color and everything where it's gotten really hot. And let me move this head and I'll show y'all the other head. What I'm looking for is uh, any burnt valves, which I do not see. Uh, as you can tell, this was running lean. Uh, the uh, whitish buildup on there. Uh, same thing here. Plus it's got the oil where it was sucking the oil. Uh, on this side as well, running real lean. As well as uh, right here. Um, this one right here was a cylinder that was down to 110. Uh, it's the worst looking here of the two. But as I've seen, as you could tell, the darkness right here uh, between the two, uh, it was actually um, starting to burn through the gasket. So what it was doing, the compression was bleeding over to the other side. Uh, you could tell on the intake here, or I mean on the exhaust, it's, it's run hot. The exhaust temperatures was really hot. Uh, same thing here on these two cylinders. You can see how this is really turned colors. It's white inside. Uh, same thing up here. So this thing, this whole engine was running lean, and it, it probably wouldn't have um, on, on that lean of condition. It probably wouldn't have lasted um, a long time before uh, he would end up having major en engine damage. Modulator valve wasn't hooked up. That's going to uh, have a direct effect on the shifting. So we're going to make sure that that's hooked up. Uh, we're going to have the heads taken off. We're going to take the heads here in just a little bit and take them into the machine shop, get them done. I am also going to take the intake as well and um, 
have him uh, get that one uh, uh, water nipple out because the way it is there's no socket type uh, there's no hex head on it to get it off and just let them uh, pull that out and we'll get another one and put in there uh, probably have him just go ahead and just hot tank the intake and, and clean it you know why he's there tomorrow I'm gonna uh, be cleaning stuff up um, I'll kind of get uh, in there and uh, clean everything. If y'all would like to watch me do the cleaning of the inside of the motor, everything, uh, leave a comment down below. Uh, just got the push rods clean and blown them out. And then I'm going to check and make sure all the push rods are flat with a piece of glass. That way, if we got any push rods that's got bent a little bit, we'll go ahead and uh, have it replaced. What are you doing now, Wayne? I'm checking to see if there's any bent push rods. That one's good. The little roughness you hear is in the glass here. If they was bent, you would see them right off the bat, but you always... Is there kind of a, at least a mild wobble? No. Is that what you're looking for? Yeah, any kind of wobble. So far, everyone is everyone is straight. I figured they would be, but you always you always check and make sure. Yep, all the push rods on one side is straight. All right, guys, there you go. <laughs> In the stage of cleaning everything up getting all this sludge, uh, cleaning up all the rocker arms and the uh, push rods. When we're done with that, they're going to do some cleanup in the cylinders. And uh, we're waiting on basically the heads and, and the valve assemblies. So we'll talk to you a little bit later. Got rednecks gone wild, got big full-size four-wheelers. We got this, we got Dwight over here running around on this tiny little thing. <laughs> <laughs> got to put air in that tire. Did that thing throw you off? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> it's top, like you said, it's top, baby. Hell. Let's see Wayne riding this thing. <laughs> he just cracks me up, yeah, man. The best, oh. the best pretty quick. Pretty quick. I called the boy that I'm going to giving it to. Mm -hmm. I told him, I said, look, I'll give this thing to him if you want to. I said, it's just too bad. That's for five. <laughs> yeah. You need to cover it down. You're going to do that. Wait a second. Wait a second. Yeah, but he's still, he still cracks me up running around on that tiny thing. <laughs> <laughs> running around on that little guy when they got all these great big ones even this racing one here <laughs> but everybody likes the little one. Oh, <laughs> yeah. i just had to do it because he said it wouldn't be done huh? <laughs> yeah. get out there connect with people live your big story make sure you do something every single day to reduce room sex peace guys peace and love and i tell you all about it when i see you again Come a long way from where we began. Oh, I'll tell you all.